Hi everyone! Today on my bench I have a Shure wireless receiver for repair. This is a 4 channel receiver, model ULXD4Q. This thing does not power up, let me show you. Nothing happens. Let's take a look. Here we are inside, what do we see? Power supply here, four separate RF channels, digital stuff in the middle, including this separate Dante network module. I started checking here, disconnected power supply and found that these four pins have two connections only. These two pins are connected together and this is ground. And these two pins are connected together, and this is positive supply. And nothing in between. And the supply must be 12 volts, because according to marking here on the back, antennas have a 12 volt bias for external antenna amplifiers. The power switch is in the on position now, and it is closed, so there is no problem with it. And on the power supply side, we can see these two pins are connected together, and these two, and nothing in between, or at least some large resistance. So I plugged it in, and because the power switch is after the supply, the supply must be always on. And we see about 6 volts here with no load. So something must be wrong with the power supply. Here is the power supply. It turns out it is 15 volt supply. Here it says output 15 volts for amps. Seems like a classic switch mode supply. Mains input here, fuse, PTC, the resistor is not populated for some reason. Filter in here, bridge rectifier, capacitor, a few other components, MOSFET, some chip here running the primary side, isolation gap between primary and secondary side, some chip on the secondary side, perhaps regulation or something, Transformer across the gap, uh, optocoupler across the gap for isolated feedback from the secondary to primary, capacitor across the gap, this must be rectifier, and some filtering on the output. Should be easily fixable, unless chips died and they are hard to find. Look what I found! These two, I believe, are small electrolytic caps with heat shrink on them for some reason. Marked C3 and C13. Must be just a few microfarads. But look at this. Two hundred and seventy nanofarads and uh, 237 ohms ESR and the other one 75 nanofarads and 754 ohms ESR this does not look good does it and this big cap also has heat shrink on it for some reason but it looks okay I don't know its value we read about 80 microfarads and about 0.5 ohms ESR. Most probably OK. Here they are desoldered. Both are 10 microfarads, 50 volts, Junfu brand, 105 degrees C rated. I have plenty of them by Rubicon. I am testing the supply with no load for now, and it looks ok, 15 volts, how cool is that? 
And now the receiver is on and booted up just fine. And we still see about 15 volts and practically no AC here on the secondary display. So it looks fine. The receiver is back together and works fine. Thanks for watching. Bye.